Welcome to the mission briefing. I am Colonel Spud. I am a U.S. Marine Corps pilot for this mission. As you all know, as of 0500 hours, the Piranis invaded the Kingdom of Daimar. Ostensibly, their special military mission was to punish the Kingdom of Daimar for slant drilling underneath the border into Pirani oil reserves. They have so far not given any evidence to these claims. However, that does not change the fact that the Piranis are definitely well inside of Daimari air uh, airspace and territory at this point. We can see on the ground here, we have um, the border in blue, the Palmyra oil fields in the shaded red area, as well as the FIBA or for forward edge of battle area in the red line there and uh, the, uh, Pirani units have pushed up to that line. Of course, you guys know from our last mission that the Piranis did overrun the first uh, Royal Tank Division at Palmyra. And so they are firmly in control of Palmyra and the oil fields there for now. Um, the Because of the damage to Damascus by the ostensibly failed air raid, uh, fall, jettison bombs, falling aircraft debris, things of that nature did damage the infrastructure of Damascus quite heavily. And as a result, the Shah and his government had to relocate to the city of Haifa on the Mediterranean coast for the foreseeable future. A um, joint air operations uh, center has been established at Ramat David and are now pushing out ATO uh, or air tasking orders to all aircraft in theater. The USS George Washington is still steaming at flank speed and should arrive within about 24 hours or so. Our mission for today, as per the ATO, is to degrade and destroy as many um, air defense installations as possible along the border areas, and specifically at the al Qasar, Shirat, and Tias airports right along the border there. A number of um, reinforcements of both armored divisions as well as mechanized infantry are gathering at those airfields for a push towards Damascus from what our intelligence people believe. And as a result of that, we need to degrade the air defenses covering them and then allow some of our strike aircraft to hopefully hit targets of opportunity at those airfields. So moving on to the actual mission briefing itself, um, the situational overview, that is blank for today, just because uh, I just gave you an overview and you guys are following the news. I hear all of you guys listening to the BBC radio in your hooches uh, constantly. Um, so for our roll call today, we've got uh, our frequencies that we're going to be talking on, the aircraft, of course, that are assigned, the call signs in the ATO today, the uh, the theme for the call signs were Bond Girls, Bond Villains, and Submarines, a la... Um, the spy that loved me. So strike aircraft are submarines, Boomer, Typhoon, Akula, whereas the Siad Diad flights are Bond Girls, Vesper, Frost, Electra, on atop. And then of course our defensive counter air flights are Bond Villains, Blofeld, Carver, and Goldfinger. Um, we can see, of course, your assigned mission type. For the aircraft that are going to be working together for SEAD and THEAD, you can see that your intraflight frequencies are linked together. So Vesper and Onatop, as well as Frost and Electra, are assigned to work together. Um, for the intraflight communication there, of course, the F-18s, we've got VUHF radios, and the F-16s will be working on their VHF radios uh, for intraflight. Um, rules of engagement, of course, visual or IFFID as hostile required, but other than that, weapons are free. Flight into Pirani airspace is, of course, permitted. Um, something to be very, very careful of. And unfortunately, you know, we lost a few um, fellow pilots in the opening hours of the war. Pilots overextended themselves and got over the top of Pirani um, air defenses and then were engaged from below by uh, the very experienced and very smart Pirani air defense uh, SAM operators. So just got to be very careful of that to make sure that we don't inadvertently fly over the top of enemy uh, SAMs. So that is why we lost a whole bunch of F-16s in the last sorties. Um, moving on to the intel. The intel is more or less the same. You guys know, you know about what kind of threats the Piranis are going to be flying, as well as the kind of threats that are going to be on the ground today. 
communications flow, of course, because of the breakdown in a lot of the um, infrastructure around the country as a result of numerous Scud missile strikes, as well as sabotage from enemy uh uh, SOF operators, as well as terrorist attacks, um, as well as just general chaos as a result of this very unexpected war. Um, we may or may not have ATC at these various airfields. If we do have ATC, of course, we're going to be using our standard um, air traffic control phraseology from both the controllers and our pilots, of course. And if you find yourself at an airport that does not have an ATC controller, please treat that frequency as a CTAF or common traffic advisory frequency. So that way you guys can uh, ensure that you don't run into somebody taking off or landing or taxiing and so on and so forth. Um, strike frequency is 305. 5.0 GCI, of course, is Red Crown. The maintenance folks have been doing a fantastic job in the Royal Daimar Air Force, uh, keeping their E2 up and running. Um, so big kudos to them. That E2 has been flying for about 24 to 48 hours nonstop now. So great job to those crews. Um, we do have, of course, um, a KC-135 MPRS and a KC-135 with a boom. Um, they're on 251 on 14 Yankee and 255 on 12 Yankee as well. So just keep an eye out for those guys, um, just traffic wise, because they are going to be in the way um, as we are flying to our um, cap stations today. So, but they are there to assist you guys in case you run low on gas. Um, for the navigation overview, we've got navigation for the three different types of mission sets for today. We've got um, CAD and DAD. We'll have a nav point, of course, and then there'll be an orbit point one and orbit point two. So you'll be flying a racetrack orbit between those two points as you with the F-16s use their HTS pods to uh, reconnoiter where those SAM sites are. And then uh, you can break off from those orbit points as required to attack those various SAM sites. Um, SAM sites in particular are going to be assigned via GCI. GCI, of course, will have a bird's eye picture of the area and see which SAMs are closest to which flights based off of their orbits. Of course, then we got a nav and a home plate waypoint for strike flights got a nav got an orbit one orbit two nav and home plate the strike flights today you guys are going to be hanging back a little bit probably doing a lot of uh, orbiting today so that way the uh, CAD and DAD folks can degrade the air defenses and then if we find and get a gap in the SAM coverage you guys can then sweep in and hit targets of opportunity helicopters airplanes armor on the airfields in question uh, for defensive counter air, you guys will be going up and you'll be flying a racetrack orbit between cap station point one and point two. Um, and then, of course, you got a nav point and a home plate point as well. So not much in the way of actual waypoints today. It should be pretty simple navigational wise. But, um, you know, it, it's important to make sure that we hit those orbit points and uh, GCI as well as ATC will make sure that we're all stacked up at different altitudes so we don't run into each other. Um, tack hands. We've got tack hands all over the place. Um, tack hand coverage has been a little bit spotty. Unknown if that's, uh, you know, uh, potentially sabotage or what's going on there. But uh, those should be up. If they're not up, then of course, you know, uh, good old fashioned pilotage is going to be your friend for these flights. The um, Damascus International is out of commission. Um, a falling uh, Tu-16 Badger smashed right into the main runway and terminal area and just basically wiped out the whole field. So uh, Damascus International is down for the count. Palmyra Tacan is, of course, down for the count as well due to it being in enemy hands. Um, lost comms procedures in the event of lost comms uh, do not take off. Um, if you find yourself Nordo up in the air as a result of battle damage or some sort of issue with your aircraft, um, the Nordo airfield will be King Hussein Air College. No donors as of uh, of note. Um, of course, we're in the middle of an invasion of a friendly country, so that's a pretty big notum in itself. Um, objectives and game plan. Uh, so uh, Vesper, you're going to be working with Onatop, and Frost will be working with Electra. The F-16s will lead the formation and uh, then uh, hopefully get you guys to the orbit points and uh, then come up with a, a game plan as to your attack from there. 
Um, altitude is as required to avoid traffic or assigned by ATC, and egress will be post strike from the strike aircraft. Defensive counter air. Of course, you guys are protecting coalition aircraft from any enemy aircraft. Um, your altitude is going to be as required again or as assigned. Post strike is your egress. Strike and escort, you guys are going to be attacking uh, targets as assigned by GCI as they see holes through the SAM coverage as a result of the SEAT and DEAD flights doing their thing. Um, in case there is no... Um, there is no hole that opens up in the SAM coverage due to, you know, higher density SAMs than expected and maybe run out of ordnance. You guys may be called in to actually provide additional ordnance to attack those SAM sites or potentially go to a secondary objective in pounding the um, armored divisions that are holding Palm Ira. Um, strike package game plan basically just laid that out there. That's the kind of the, the way it should go if you guys need to look at that. Targets overview. For the most part, we can see the SAMs are going to be at Tias, Shirat, Al Qasar, and um, As Sukana. <laughs> Can't really pronounce that one, unfortunately, with my uh, American upbringing. Um, and then, of course, targets of opportunity to all air bases. Um, As Sukana is to the northeast of Palmyra, and so that one is probably going to be one that's going to be lower on the priority list. But Al Qasar, Shirat, and Tias are, in fact, uh, enemy air bases that are along the border area and just behind the FIBA. Um, weather report it's uh, 1753 local. Um, and it's a 2708 for the wind, 10 statute miles of visibility, pretty nice weather today, scattered clouds at 150 and uh, 8,000. Temperature is 31, dew points negative 2, so pretty high density altitude, especially with our altimeter setting at 30.00. So uh, just know that you're probably going to have a little bit longer takeoff roll today than you're usually used to. Uh, peak wind was 280 at 30, um, 45 minutes after the hour. So it could be a little gusty and turbulent out there for you guys. And of course, the actual exact temperature is 31.1 and uh, negative 22.2, or sorry, negative 2.2 for the uh, dew point. Uh, winds aloft, you can see that there as well in case you need to do some minute fuel planning. And that is about it, guys, um, for your loadouts inside your cockpit there. Just make sure that you, of course, have your sidearm ready to go. Make sure it's safe. You don't have a, uh, a round in the chamber or anything like that. I don't need any of my pilots accidentally shooting themselves. And then, of course, you guys are free to either take uh, an HMD or NVGs as you see fit for the mission today. So um, any questions or concerns from flight leads?
left, roll left. Flight controlled. Flight controlled. about Mark 07 on the ingress and after fence in I will call out or we increase our speed to Mark 08 unless otherwise stated for the Samberg flow um, there are two gravity calls that are important one sniper the other is slap shot sniper is a request for employment of a harm weapon on a known SAM site since nothing is known right now it's a slap shot. Slap shot is requesting um, is a request and harm employment on on an unknown cell site. For example, if two is uh, defending uh, SA two, he will say slap shot two, which instructs one of us guys to attack an SA two that is uh, that is attacking him. Electra five one radio check. If you have questions or something's unclear, just just uh, just ask. Copy five one five four three jet. All the way up by the way. Where are Sheriff Freak with Frost? Excuse me, you got stepped on. Uh, say again. Uh, Frost one one. This is Electra five three. Turns out we have the same frequency, interflight frequency. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Uh, that's intentional. We're working with uh, Frost. Okay, Roger. First one, copies. Frost one three, ready for our country. Electra five four, green jet. Frost one two, ready for our check. Frost one one. Lecture 5-3, uh, green jet. Alright, first one, step on one is um, 300439. Two. Please, sir. Gotcha loud and clear. Two step right. Um, one two again. Current both eyes zero nine seven four one six. Uh, tower gold figure one three. Uh, negative 2 is bullseye, uh, bullseye 0, 9, 6, for 1, 8, 3, 6, tower, 4. Electra 5, 1, radio check. 3, 0, 9, 7, 4, 1, 6, 6. Uh, 1, uh, please, uh, verify that, that we change bullseye, 20, uh, 25 to bullseye in the MDC. One three, we are in 
Section 5 to Apron to join up on the runway, I guess. Uh, strike lead, Goldfinger 1 3. Goldfinger 1 3. Goldfinger 1 3, stay at holding, stay at I was parking. definitely paying attention during the briefing. Can you remind me of the active runway? Yeah, copy that. Uh, looks like uh, H3 Tower is down, so let's set the active runway for all flights for the uncontrolled field be runway 290. Runway 290, Goldfinger 13. Uh, Goldfinger 1, uh, go ahead and have your flight taxi to runway 290. 2 for 1, I don't see both I on the NDC. I'm going to target over you. Um, okay, let me say okay, what no, is more. 33 three, 25 decimal 499 East 0361 decimal 134. Okay, then get it. Uh, wait. Yeah, well, uh, uh, H3 traffic, traffic uh, Typhoon Flight. Taxiing to runway 29. Electra flight, uh, this is Electra 5 1. Are you guys green? Electra 5 3, okay. Copy that. It's free uh, traffic, Golfing a 1 1, slide off 4 14, taxiing and holding for runway 29 via runway 06. Step by Electra. Trust. Go for Electra. Uh, what booth ID do you want us to take? The IP already pro programmed pro booth I in 25 or the one in the NBC? Yeah, I copy that. Um, are they. It, weird that they're not co located. Request refueling. Why not? I'm not for the I'm not for degrees, four minutes. I think you can go ahead and take the one that's pre-populated then. Trust copies. Alright, trust one, 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 three, can you repeat the call notes then? For both? Trust one, two, do you copy, do you need the coordinates for both sides? Affirm. Flight just a heads up, Vesper 323 is on lead to, to hit the yeah, F4. I don't know where he's going, he's going somewhere. Talking on the wrong frequency. Rearming complete. Frost 1 2. I believe Jester decided to eject on one of the F14s. Uh, Frost 1 2 second. Do you need to pause I? The pre programmed one. Strike with Boomer 7 1, do we have an assigned uh, laser code? Needs coronet for bullseye. Yeah, so stand by. We currently have a F-16 and a two F-14s going nose to nose. Go ahead and F-14s, if you can make a 180, turn, make a back taxi runway 06 to runway 29. Uh, I already reprogrammed it, so can, you, can I get the coronet please then? Copy, 3, 2, say when ready. 2 ready. Nothing. 3, 3, 2, 9, 8, 3, 1. East zero three six eight three traffic a cooler flight uh, three Harriers taxiing to active runway two nine via runway zero six. Trust one three seven. Two set. First one say we're ready for taxi. Again, Goldfinger Flight, go ahead and make a 180 and back taxi runway 06 to 29. Vacating this taxiway off to the left. First, stand by. Yep, we had a little miscommunication. We're turning around. Roger. Electra Flight, uh, where are you guys located on the airfield? I'm going to park away. Electro 5 3, I'm at Parkway 5 2. Roger. 5 4 is up by like, runway 1 1. Copy.
Uh, Electra 5-4, go ahead and uh, start your taxi down towards uh, runway 2-9. Copy. Uh, first push uniform 277 decimal 5. Uh, Atrix traffic, country 2 to Golden Finger 1 5 single ship 14, taxiing runway 2-9. Frost check in the form. Frost one two. Frost one three. Electrify one, do you uh this electrify three, do you want me to taxi to two nine also? Electrify four taxiing to runaway two nine. Uh stand by on that electro five three. H3 tower appears to be down. Uh, the airfield is now uncontrolled. Runway 29 is active. Wind is 270 degrees at 8. Frost 5-3. Can you flash your lights for me? Okay, I see it now. Beautiful. H3 traffic. Electra 51 is going to be back taxiing runway 06 to runway 29. I'm going to be picking up Electra 53 on the way. Negative. Runway is clear. Uh, you're cleared for takeoff whenever. Okay, Roger. Uh, heard one uh, typhoon flight is being cleared for takeoff. Uh, just FYI, you're kind of cutting out of the end of your way to do it. Also, the crew of flock, the crew of five. Typhoon flight is taking off runway 29. Frost 1-1, one, one, Frost 1-3, one, are you clear to taxi? Yep, uh, taxi after after me and Electra 5-1, he's flashing right now. Electra 5-3, go ahead and taxi after me here. Electro 5-3, watch the taxi speed. 2 follow 1 and 3 follow 2. Uh, we're giving away to the Hornets. One is on the left side. Copy 1. I don't see number 2 though. Flights, make sure you're communicating on the CTAF for those takeoffs. Uh, this is Typhoon Flight taking off from runway 29. Uh, H3 traffic, uh, Goldfinger is holding on the parallel taxiway to runway 6, waiting for our fifth. Goldfinger, this is Akula. Do you mind if we just pass in front of you? We're all here already. Akula, go ahead. Goldfinger is holding. Copy that. Akula flight is lining up on runway 29. Uh, 
Electra 5-4, are you uh, holding short of runway 29? Electra 5-3, at the end of runway 6, we're going to make a 45 degree left turn, and that'll take us right to runway 29. Almost at the runway. Street traffic, Boomer, are you uh, taking off? Uh, H Street traffic, Boomer 71 is holding short for lone FA 18 with lights off, unsure where they're going. Copy. Uh, 5 4, are you ready for takeoff? Ready. Copy that. H3 traffic, flight of three, FA-18 is taking runway 29 straight out departure. I see 2-9 on the pavement, heading matches. Trail takeoff. You guys ready to go? Alrighty. H3 traffic, Alrighty. flight of three F-18s. Electra 5-1, taking off runway 2-9, uh, straight out departure. Sweet. Alright, 
left seems to be fine. I don't see any Tomcat stabilizers. I'm switching left. We'll see you when we need to turn left. Airstrike traffic, a cooler flight is switching straight. I'm right, waypoint one. A little bit trying to get my uh, state wire set up. Electro flight, switch 305, COM 1. Three. Four. Red Crown, Electra 51, flight of three F 18s, checking in as fragged. Red Crown, Electra 5 1, checking in. Electra Typhoon, uh, we haven't gotten a response from Red Crown here yet. Copy that. First one, two, say status. Electro Flight 51 is flying at Mach Point 60. Electro 5 1 currently passing through 14,700. Right, checking in on strike. Roger, uh, where are you going to settle in that? Uh, got you loud and clear, Boomer Flight. Looks like uh, Red Crown is a no show. We'll be doing it the old fashioned way. Copy that, strike lead.
Electra flight, Electra 5 1's coming left towards waypoint 2. Strike, Goldfinger 1314, checking in. Watch that, Goldfinger. Currently, no show on Red Crown. We'll be doing it the old fashioned way. Understood. Altitudes for orbit? Uh, negative, not yet. Uh, Boomer flight, what's your best altitude for max fuel conserve? Uh, I want to say Angel's 25 or so. I don't know how much higher we're going to get with this one. Um, Copy that. Angel's 25 then. I mean, standing Q after what? First Copy one. Angel's 25 for Boomer 71. Strike lead, uh, Typhoon fly, word Angels 2-6, um, uh, do you want us to marshal at some other altitude? Uh, roger that. Could you marshal <laughs> Angels 2-7? Going to 2-7 for Typhoon flight, and we are at, uh, waypoint 1, so we're ready to go. Copy that, uh, Typhoon flight, uh, you're fragged as strike, correct? Uh, self escort strike, correct. Copy that. Have a good orbit. It's going to be a while. Uh, you cut, cut out after good orbit. Yeah, it might be a while here. Roger. Yeah, strike lead, your uh, messages are getting cut short at the end. Uh, copy that. How is this coming in? That one came in fully. Roger. I'll be more careful with that Roger that, Goldfinger. Is uh, the rest of your flight off the deck? I believe they're in the process of that, sir. Roger that. Harbor flight, Blowfield flight, you want to... Left or flight, left one off, 240. Flight level 300 for uh, the cruising altitude. Uh, roger that, AFRM, 300 zero zero works. Uh, level one off can be 240. 300, zero zero, copy, and we'll be loitering between um, orbit four and five. Four just your right low low. Oh, crazy. Strike lead, blow field flight, getting locked up by a TWS radar roughly the area of Alcazar to uh, Ben Muad. Strong position holding. Uh, copy that. Uh, do you mean a EWR radar? I'm not sure what you meant. Separation radar, such as trail, uh, and radar from up. fighter. Okay, roger that. Uh, sequence is 132. Sorry about that, guys. I just uh, missed our altitude. Coming back down to 240. Too early. Just have a mid air collision. Or shall we? Yeah, I got a visual on that. Uh, 5-1, which is speed? Mach 0.62. I can speed it up if need be. Roger, settle in on your left side. 
first one is 317 in the box, going for 350. Three tight, uh, two tight. Five four is a little low by about a thousand. Uh, Roger that. Uh, Electra flight and push it up to 300 indicated in the box. Five three, copy. First push in the form one. Frost flight. Unfortunately, Red Crown is a no-show tonight. We'll be doing it the old-fashioned way here. Frost one copies. Red Crown Frost. Frost is both a zero nine five four one five four. Just took off a three at twelve thousand four twenty-five thousand inbound of steel one. Spike, F-16. Harbor flight, check in. Go for Harbor flight. Roger that, just wanted to make sure you were up on strike. I'm sure you've been listening, but uh, no red crown tonight, so uh, hopefully we'll keep an eye on these uh, uh, piranhas if there's any uh, enemy fighters. Buddy Spike, F-16. Also, the down is confirmed for fighters, just in the TWS lock. Frost 1-2, Sadia, stick 6-4, X-ray. And, uh, strike lead, be advised, <laughs> one, 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 two, suffered midair. Copy that. Uh, one, two, again, six, four, X-ray, six, well, six, five, X-ray. Did they try to execute a formation takeoff in the dark in an uncontrolled six, airfield? Five, six, five. Unknown. Six, five, six, five. Repeat the last again. Three, go for six, five, Yankee. Six, five, Yankee. Uh, two set six four uh, and uh, all flights gold fix uh, gold fingers yeah, picture three. clean at this time. Roger uh, that. One three timber sour. Three, that's okay because uh, Yase only works between two. But since you are on Yankee, I will switch between X-ray and Yankee to um, get your information. I mean, still should work for me. I think you should only get the closer guy, but still you should get range to me to you as well. Don't worry about it, um, the one is on X-ray at the moment. Buddy Spike, F-18. Buddy, buddy. Got you, loud and clear, best for non attack flights. Proceed directly to your orbit point one. 
Uh, I'll be now. proceeding directly to our orbit point. Electra first. Go for Electra. Do you want Frost to orbit Steep on 2 or Steep on 3? Uh, racetrack between Steer Point 2 and 3. Frost 1, we'll call. Electra Typhoon, could you say again uh, we're, we're on a racetrack between Waypoint 1 and 1? Racetrack between waypoint two and three. Okay, waypoint two and three. Frost one, fence it. Okay, Roger. Thank you. We're still at waypoint one, moving over there. Electra flight, uh, go ahead and fence in. Correct lead, your messages are getting truncated again. Copy that. Two fence, uh, 10.1. First one three, first one, ten top. First one, fence in, ten one. Check the H2 now, nine on two. Electra one is fenced in, eleven point eight. Electra five three, fenced in, eleven point seven. Frost for that orbit, uh, we're currently at flight level two four zero. If you want to orbit at like two six zero, if able, that would uh, give us plenty of separation. The first one, um, we're called orbiting 260. First one, one, first one, two, third fact. Uh, I have three nine. I have 277 in the box. Copy, uh, one will be level off at 260 and 300 knots in the box. Vesper and on a top flight, so let me know once you're on station. Oh, wrong frequency, sorry about that. Uh, Vesper and on a top flights, this is strike lead. Uh, advise once you're on station in your orbit. Uh, we are 17 nautical miles from waypoint. Copy that. Cross one, what? Uh, Strike lead, uh, Goldfinger is waypoint one, starting up race track, waypoint two. Copy that. Uh, we're currently working that out at the moment. Uh, first, we go for first one. Uh, first one one, what sum are we attacking first? Uh, on the side of that, um, having SA6, 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 going off station, SA6, having a function. SA6, SA6, SA6. RTV. Sharp. What was the malfunction? Adjusting radio, hit gear level. Lever. Roger that. Catch. Just had HS6 on HTS uh, Wolf 0584101. Faded. Copy that. Strike lead, Boomer 71 
Well, after flight, I'm in sight, right? Flight is inbound waypoint two, uh, 10 minutes away. Boomer flight, strike lead. Boomer flight, strike lead. Roger five one, your comms keep coming in short. Roger. Boomer flight, strike lead. Go for boomer flight. Run to that. If you could see, uh, get your pod on Shirat Airfield from your your uh, cap station. And see what you see down there, that'd be great. Frost, go fight a wing. Copy, checking out Sharad. Frost 1 2, copy. Frost 1. Uh, strike, Goldfinger uh, 1 1, checking on frequency. We had a little Frost 1 2 switching to left leg issue. We are down to a 3 ship F 14. Electric flight entering the hold, flying direct waypoint 3. Goldfinger flight, strike lead copies. Uh, no red crown tonight. The E3 seems to have gone down. Uh, unknown reasons, so uh, we're doing it the old-fashioned way here. Goldfinger copies. Electra rolling out. Small flights be advised. Snow drift, both 043450 faded. Frost and Electra flights. This is Strike Lead. We'll be attacking Sam's at Shirat and Al Qasar airfields. Vesper and on a top flight. Strike Lead. Check in. Vesper and on a top flight is 34 nautical miles away from waypoint two. Copy that. Uh, your current targets are going to be Tias and the city to the northeast of Palmyra. Unpronounceable name. Siad and Diad flights, you're clear to engage targets. Frost flight. Uh, strike Lee, this is on a top 4 1. Can you say again? Over. On a top, this is Strike Lead. You're cleared to engage SAMs at the Tias airfield. That's the first target location on the target's overview of the ATO. Copy that. Uh, Tias is our first target. Frost flight. This is Strike Lead in Electra 5 1. Let's attack targets at Shirat Airfield first. Frost 1 copies. Prioritizing Shirat Airfield. Roger that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Shirat in my. Uh, strike Goldfinger 1314, adjusting hold between waypoint 2 and Al Nazaria to uh, better support. Roger that, Goldfinger. Strike lead, Boomer 7-1 is unable to see Shirot uh, from orbit, it's too far. Uh, roger that, adjust orbit, stay out of range of the SAM site. Roger, adjusting orbit. All stations be advised, GCI Red Crown now on line 305. Roger that, Red Crown. Uh, current picture is clean. The SEAD, DAD flights currently attacking Shirat Airfield and TS Airfield. How copy? Red Crown copies all. Uh, picture clean, AFER. Roger. Cross 7 off 08. 
Desmond, uh, Red Crown for your situational awareness, Goldfinger 3 and 4 are its own two ship. We're holding in between our waypoint 2 and Al, uh, Al Nazaria for uh, better support of the uh, strike packages. Electro flight. Make sure your JSOWs are good to go. Your harm is good to go. I'm coming left 180 degrees for the orbit. I'm putting in TIAS airfield into my mission computer. A firm. Actually, sorry, scratch that, scratch that. Shyrot airfield, Shyrot airfield for Electra. Copy, Shyrot. Uh, all flights, I can give you coordinates of Shyrot airways. Uh, we got it on the kneeboard. Electra 5 1 rolling out, heading 140. 5 3. 5 4 is trying. Okay, we got the 311 on the side, right? The one has slow drift. Break lead, Boomer 7 1, I have a lot of smoke at Chirot. SA 6 online. Copy that, Boomer Flight. Thank you. Operational control is now being passed from the strike lead to Red Crown. Red Crown copies. Red Crown, Frost 1. Go. Frost 1 is 16 miles short of Steel 2. Request the orders. Flight uh, 5 1 is heading towards Shirot Airfield at the moment to get a pod on this airfield. Spike SA 6. First one, one is working SA 6 to the north, to the west. Uh, 
have first one one, first one two. Uh, I have a PGM four on the SA six to the north. Uh, Twenty miles position uh, would be possible to arrange on the on shot. Red Crown Typhoon nine one, we're checking in near waypoint two. Uh, Mega first priority to protect flight route and surprise. Typhoon nine one, we're clear. Clear at the DOM. Two copy. Typhoon 91, uh, Vector 348, engage targets opportunity at TS Airfield. Alright, Force 1, two, uh, Typhoon three. is turning, uh, heading 348, and we're going to go to TS Tango Sierra Airfield. Two, two. Force 1, 2, stack 27,000. Uh, correction at TIAS, that is the name of the airfield, T-I-Y-A-S. Well, uh, 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 stand by if you need lateral long cords. It should be on your kneeboard. Roger, Typhoon, sorry Four about that. Uh, um, TIAS airfield, GP. we're going to head there now. Electroflay currently heading nose on Sherat airfield, just now getting it on the pop. First one three, uh, first one one copy is kind of transmit, uh, kind of after flight red ground. Uh, can you transmit um, the coordinates via data link? Uh, okay, I don't know how to do that. You select the uh, on flight red ground targeting port. Uh, that's your soy, and then you press IFF in long. Roger, you ready to copy? On a top flight, Red Crown's calling you. Frost, are you ready to go ahead? Go strength, this is on a top flight. On a top flight, Red Crown, what's the air defense situation at TS? Uh, this is Red Crown, we've uh, detected an SA6 and we are uh, engaging right now. Take care. Frost flight red ground. Frost flight, this is Electro 5 1. Uh, can you confirm that's an SA 11 at uh, Shirat? Frost 1 1, red ground. Frost 1 1 has uh, snow drift at both 015 for 62. Say again, Frost 1 1. Frost 1 1 has a snow drift at both uh, 015 for 63. Snow drift 015 for 63. Frost 1 1, Red Crown, be advised the snow drift is at Shy Rot Airfield. Request your flight uh, vector to engage. Metro 5153. Frost 13, commit on snow drift. Metro 5153. Go for 5-3. Yeah, Roger, it's 5-3, I got the snow drift. Oh, I'm like, copy. Copy. I can drop oh, it off. I can drop it off. I can drop it Copy that, you're clear to engage. Frost 13, Roger that. 5-3, go ahead and hit it with a JSO. Metro 5-3, Pickle, SA, S, Snowdrift, at Show Hack. Turn right. First one on the left hook, at least, number. <laughs> Two mod six, uh, from Sherrod. Disregard the SA-6, I believe it's Splash. Boomer 71, Red Crown. Call for Boomer. Boomer 71, vector yourself in flight bearing 330 for 30 miles. I'm going to have you hold an orbit between Shyrock and the airfields. You're going to engage targets of opportunity at either of the airfields once a Typhoon flight and a Kula flight cleanup ahead of you. 
electroflight. I'm anchoring about 16 miles to the south of Chirot Airfield, waiting for the impact from that JSA. Impact is splash. splash. You got splash? Goldfinger 1 3 picture. Yeah, Roger, I watched it going. Copy that. I see the uh, vehicle scattering. All right, launchers are next. If you got uh, a launcher in, in your scope, go ahead and launch your second JSA. Uh, I got a really weird signal, uh, which seems to show a five ship stationary at 35,000 feet. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's good. Not real. Two by two. Under uh, two, um, I think it's two. Right, crown target, target engaging, six to uh, Tias airfield wanted to check what our targets at the airfield are. Uh, two committing, I think two. Typhoon flight, sort and engage air defenses first. Uh, support and secondary structures should be your secondary priority. This is excited. Uh, Typhoon copies air defense, then support structures. Retron, this is Akula Flight. Is it safe to fly towards Chirot yet? Akula Flight, Red Crown, good copy. Push to Chirot, engage targets of opportunity. Push to Chirot, engage targets of opportunity. Akula Flight. All flights be advised, this is Electra 5 1. Currently, there are lone SA 11 launchers in the area. The snow drift is dead. SA-6. Red Crown, uh, Frost 1-2, two, Sniper, SA-2, uh, Chirrut Airfield. Oh, I got him. Frost 1-2, Red Crown, Crappies, SA-2, Chirrut. Frost 1-1, one, one, Frost Flight, SA-2, Chirrut, SA-2, Chirrut. Are you still capable of engaging the SA-2 at Chirrut? Yeah, negative. It's not an SA-2, it's an SA-11. And uh, I've got JSAWS on it in... 30 mics, or 30 seconds. Copy. Sam launch, Sam launch, near TS. SA-11 launch, SA-11 launch, Shyrot, Shyrot. Defend, defend. My bomb, SA-11, Shyrot. Cross one, pre- That's for teacher. Shyrot, 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 Vesper 2-3, red ground. Uh, red ground, go ahead. I am leading for Vesper for now. This is uh, on front uh, of uh, Vesper flight, red ground, be advised. 0 3 uh, 5 uh, hot, two ship. Good splash, good splash with the SA-11. Behind you, vectored on those targets. Confirm, Frost 1-3, one, splash 1 SA-11, Winchester. Magnus. Good splash, good splash. Frost one one clean. Uh Frost one two is Arizona. Red Crown, Electra 5 1 strike lead had eyes on arm impact SA eleven launcher, one remaining. Red Crown, 
down, Boomer 71 has spike, MiG 25, my 2 o'clock. Uh, copy, F 14's engaging. Uh, Electra flights, are you guys gonna get a JSAO off on that launcher or do you want me to launch? Red Crown Boomer 71, should I change uh, heading or remain on course? Negative, remain on station. I have an SA25. Remaining on station, Boomer 71, has it. Cooler flight, Red Crown. Send it for a cooler flight. Update uh, state. Frost 1-1, Frost 1-3, I got the data. A cooler flight is state 3.1. All right, Electroflight, disregard the SA-11 launcher. Oh, I just got a JSA out on it. Get to Shira. Crossing a 101, Fox 3. Stand by, Red Crown. Second JSA out, reattacking the snow drift. Appears to still be online. Typhoon flight is flying southwest. Red Crown, uh, uh, the 7-1 has SA-2 on it, depending. Red Crown, this is a cooler flight. As long as we don't loiter for too long and we're just in, in and out, we should be fine. Copy a cooler, proceed direct to Shyrod, uh, engage targets, and then uh, you're cleared out. Engage targets and right cleared out as a cooler flight. Goldfinger flight, uh, splash one, then. Goldfinger one three, uh, merge zero one nine, four miles, four thousand. Force for the rest. Uh, now, 39 from the north. All stations, picture clean. Two same. All stations, pop up group. Bulls, 359 for 118 27,000. Two ship, track southwest, banded. Strike 3, this is on a top flight, SA-6 near TS, uh, splash. Good copy on a top flight. Strike 2, uh, 30 minutes 29 from the north. Say again. Uh, this is first one, two, uh, I still have nails 29 from the north. Copy, uh, likely the group that I just popped up. Goldfinger flight, red crown. Go for Goldfinger. Goldfinger flight, uh, vector 300 intercept, uh, two ship, 36,000, MiG 29, track southwest. Five, four, uh, four, we four, have four, 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 uh, Red Crown, Carver, bogey dope. Say again. Uh, can you give us a bogey dope for Carver? Frost status. Carver flight, bogey dope. Uh, uh, Five seven two, three uh, three. Uh, three zero one by uh, seven point three. Uh, Thanks, drive. Roger. Frost one three is zero one eight for fifty four. Frostflight, do you guys have any magnums left? Roger, I got a magnum. Copy that. Let's shift targets here. Uh, the SA-11s are down at Sharat, so let's uh, head to more another airfield, see if we can work them. I've still got two JSALs left. Yeah, you got stepped on. Can you say again over 5-3? Uh, yeah, so Electra 5-3, you want to shift targets here? I've still got two JSALs left on board. I got a uh, JSAL and I still got two magnums. Copy that. Stand by. Cross 1 3 is out of lineup. Rejoining with Frost 1 1. Typhoon 9 1, Red Crown. Go for Typhoon. Have you engaged uh, targets at TS? Uh, we're currently looking around the airfield for air defenses. Uh, 93 is engaging an early warning radar. That's the only air defense we've seen so far. SA3, kind of fast, Copy that, Frost 1 3. Do you have an approximate location for that SA3? Stand by. Frost 1 3, Frost 1 1. 
strike me, this is on the top, uh, and uh, first of all, I believe Diaz is cleared for now, uh, request asking. On the top flight, Vector 270, uh, you're going to push over Shyrot, engage any air defenses there. If it's clean, continue pushing to Al Kaisar airfield and engage air defenses there. First, we do have any harm. Copy that, pushing to Shyrot. Negative. Gold Finger Flight, update 276 for 34, 35,000, track south, banded, big 29. Ross, I have a, my plot on approximate location for that SA-3. I just saw a smoke trail, but I can't find the base of it. Can you bait him to launch again? Cross, cross 1-3, defending. 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 Cross 
has nothing but launch uh, on a, uh, on a that, uh, early warning radar. Uh, we're not seeing any other air defenses at TS, uh, switching to support buildings, which is basically we're looking at hangars uh, at the moment. Typhoon, Red Crown copies, um, hangars, fuel, ammo tanks, and uh, if you have any other weapons, you can bomb, taxi, Roger that. Uh, taxi uh, wave, Electra and flight and junction. frost flight. Let's switch over to a secondary target here. Roger, we also see so a stand by. Let's uh, attack Al Kassar. Uh, make those a priority target. Alright, we'll prioritize the, the helos then. Found some stamp systems at our airfield. I believe it's Alcazar. Alcazar. Yeah, Alcazar is. Uh, I'm going to throw it into my waypoint systems, and that way we get our eyes on it quickly. Red Crown, Carver, how long did you want us to uh, proceed on this heading? Five four five one. What's your fuel station? Heading for another. Uh, five one is uh, six point one. We'll have to hit a tanker on the way back. Cover copy. Cross one one, cross one three, what's your speed? Swiss Cross on the mouth, zero seven seven, uh, going for twenty six thousand and set daily to three thousand. Cross one one, cross one three, uh, I'll be checking the the real cross one, mod SA three from the northeast. Uh, roger that. Um, no eyes on it. I couldn't find it. Electrify three pigs away. Roger. Uh, we need to this on one. Let us try to use our. HTS system to try to locate it and transmit the coordinates. First one, Cobra, Cobra Hawaii, Red Crown, uh, you can hold it. Cobra 2-1. Coming on right wing. Blue Force 1, stay fuel. First one, 2, stay from 7. Cross one three, stay uh, stay five four. Red Crown, Boomer seven one, Tawi, radar and parked aircraft at Shiro, should we engage? Cross one three, leaving formation. Engaging radar, Boomer seven one. I've seen numerous military installations, you just don't see the airfield. Squad mates are dead. Um, copy, it seems like uh, you're so active. If you're out of weapons or low on fuel, you're clear out of the AO. Copy. Copy that. What's your fuel state? 5.8. Gonna climb high and try to reserve as much as possible. Copy that. Last station, Sagan. 
Retro on Frost 1. Frost 1 3, Tally on an enemy uh, EWR radar. Frost 1. Roger that, I've got it in sight. Is that an Alcazar? Yeah, Roger that. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Is that uh, is that uh, EWR at Alcazar airbase? Uh, negative. Roger. Um, I've got an EWR on my pod right now. I'll go ahead and engage it. Roger. Oh, there's also snow drift still active at the uh, Shira. Roger. Let's see if I can get it. Any turn? JSO out. JSO out on the snow drift and on the EWR. Currently Winchester. Electra 5-3, are you currently still in the AO? Roger, I am uh, looking at the area you have your talking about on. Uh, Roger. Frost 1. Frost 1, Rick, Wait till you see my impacts Frost before you engage. Frost 1 is yellow. Uh, we still have Atlanta on its left to want us to refuel. We'll go um, out of here. Copy. Also, one the air defense situation seems degraded. Uh, you could RTB if you want. Um, if you do want to stick around, tankers are uh, it's one zero three for ninety eight. One zero three for ninety eight. First, uh, what do you want to do, RTB or go for tanker? If you wish, we can go for tanker. Okay. Yeah, stand by. I'm uh, searching for the Typhoon 91 red ground. Go for a Typhoon. Say status. Uh, we are currently engaging uh, helos at the airfield. Uh, one is also investigating the SA-6 uh, site we have on SA page. Major. Uh, Electro 5-3, go ahead right and engage here. any uh, targets of opportunity you see there. I think that uh, my two JSALs should take out the rest of the air defenses. Roger, I'm going to sweep through with the arms, but unless they light up, I won't be able to engage. Roger that. Um, don't think they're going to engage at this time. I think uh, we might as well bring those arms back home. Copy that. Uh, our flight is uh, Joker Fuel, and unless there is a uh, current imminent threat, uh, we're uh, uh, still to be active. Over two one, you're cleared out. We cannot find it. Over two one. And it seems to be hiding really well. All right, Electra 5-3, let's go ahead and egress out of the target area. Uh, what's your fuel state? Uh, this is 5-3, fuel state 6.2. Copy. 5-4, fuel state 5-1. Copy. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and head to towards the tanker here, and then we'll figure out where uh, Red Crown wants us to land. Five four, five one, FA six still active. Roger. 5-3, I'm gonna go ahead and join up on you, and uh, cause you're further south than me, and I'm gonna egress with you. Five three. Red Crown. Electra 5-1 in flight is currently Joker uh, fuel. We're going to be egressing to the target area. Electra 5-1, red ground, copy, clear dead. Frost 1-3, we're joining with Frost 1, right. Frost 1-3, we're joining with Frost 1-3. 
5153, I'm currently uh, Angels 20, Angels 30, uh, speed is 300 in the bottom. Uh, right crown, uh, gold trigger 13, we're bingo, RTB. Copy that, uh, 5-3. I've currently got you on radar. Station, I'm going to try and join up with you. Goldfinger 1-3, bingo, RTB. Go for your flight, copy. Boomer 7-1, Red Crown. Red Crown, go for Boomer. Cross on State status. Times. Roger, seems destroyed. Uh, current status, one bomb Roger that. remaining, That's good. two... Uh, Fox 3s, I am currently engaging helicopter, radar destroyed on ground. Number 7 1, red ground copies, be advised when Winchester, you're cleared out of the AO. 5451. Four, four, I will make it back to base. Bonus Fox 2, Copy that. Uh, 5 4, do you need a, a divert field? Are you in a fuel emergency situation? It should say I will have about 2,200 pounds left. Finger, go for red crown. Um, and kind of just kind of stick around 2,100 pounds. I'm up for and four on RTB. So the ones that have fuel and missiles left. Roger that. Do you want us to stick around to cover the uh, retreat? Go for the one one. I'll leave that up to you. Picture still clean currently. Uh, cover that. We'll stick around for a bit. Five three. If you fly heading zero nine zero, I will be able to join up with you a little faster. Yeah, push Victor two five five. Correction. Push uniform two five five. Stop for frost light. Back on uh, frost one. We'll leave this frequency for take off. Freak. Frost one one. Uh, be advised, picture's very clean, uh, no reports of any surface air missiles right now, I'd just say you could probably go back and uh, RTB. First one, we'll go RTB. Okay, first one, uh, push back uniform one and we're RTB. Reference tier four. Uh, two copy all. Uh, Electra 53, if you could slow it down just a hair, that'd be great. Electra 53, push 251 on calm 2. Red Crown, Boomer flight is Winchester and RTB. Copy 251. Four, David, Vesper flight, Red Crown. Winchester, RTB. Uh, 
Five three check in. Go ahead, Red Crown. This is on the top. On the top. Electra five three. If you have comms with Vesper, uh, Vesper flight needs to RTV. They're going to be out there by themselves. Roger that. Are you getting a TACAN from the tanker? Copy that. I already gave them the Roger, RTV order. Yankee, do not use that there. Roger. I suppose it helps if I turn it on. <laughs> yeah, that too. Gold figure one one rip crown. Typhoon nine one red crown. Go for Typhoon. Are you still engaging targets at uh, TS? Uh, negative. We're rejoining an RTB. Hey, firm. Goldfinger, Red Crown. Go for Goldfinger. Goldfinger 1 1, be advised all of the flights are RTB. You're cleared out of the air. Copy that. Goldfinger 1 1, RTB. I'm currently coming up on your right wing. Red Crown is Electra 5-1. Is the plan to have us uh, return to H3? Um, if you got the gas for it, yes. Roger. What's your fuel state? Five three five one saddled right. Uh, five 
one, this is five three. What's your fuel state? Three point three. Roger. You could go ahead and take off first. I got I still got five one. Roger that. You could probably make it all the way home. You wanna bypass the fuel? We could do that. Uh I think it'd be better if I took a little gas because it's going to be uncontrolled there, so who knows how long it'll be circling overhead. Yeah, that's true. Are we chasing the tanker down at this point? Looks like it. Yeah, we're, we're not. I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit. We're already closing in by point five, uh, five zero close right. Roger. Man, once that moon comes out, it's pretty bright out. Stroker, first one, leaving area of operations, pushing H3. I believe I have the tanker visually now. Roger. I'm going to give you room to get on the left tank. And no worries, we still got five miles to go. Tanker's turning. Copy, turning. I'm just going to squirt out in front of you here and uh, get onto the tanker a little quicker. Contact. 
your right holes. Typhoon 91, radio check on Texco. Ruben Charlie. Texaco flights, uh, Typhoon flight is joining up. Uh, we've got uh, low state 2.4 or so. Um, not emergency, but just FYI. Copy that. Uh, we'll be disconnecting shortly. Just Electra is currently at Texaco, is that right? Yeah, currently Electra, uh, two ship F 18s. We're currently both hooked up. Roger. Electra 5 1's disconnecting, moving to observation. She's all yours for your low state. Uh, typhoon flight copies, thanks. from starboard hold to starboard observation. Electra, 5-3, you ready to break away? Roger, ready. All right, let's head home. We're gonna be right heading one, two, zero. Okay, uh, red crown, gold finger one, one, switching eight three tower. Thank you for your service and good day. Gold finger one, copy, clear to switch, good day.
All right, Electra 5-3, let's go ahead and climb up a bit and let's bring it to 250. Heading waypoint four. Copy. Electra 53, let's push 136 on COM 2. Copy 136. And I'm just running reset, that makes works. Electro 5-3, you with me? Red Crown, Boomer Flight is 20 miles out for H3, oh, going to CTAF. Are you getting information? Boomer Flight, Red Crown, you've got me up I'm sorry, kid's getting stepped on, say again? Are you getting information? Yeah, Roger. Just slip back a little bit, stand by. Roger that. We're currently Mach point A4. Right 
Electra 5-3 just fell off a data link. So are you ready to taxi? Red Crown, Electra 5-1 is 30 miles from the airfield. Uh, request permission for a frequency change. Red Crown, Electra 5-1, going over to the CTAF. Uh, good copy, Electra 5-1. Roger. Short final runway two nine on.
H3 traffic. Electra 5 1, single ship F18, inbound for a straight in 2 9, full stop. Traffic, Boomer flight is 10 miles out for long final on 2-9-er. H3 traffic, single ship F-18, Electra 5-1, 20 nautical miles out, long straight in. H3 traffic, all single 1-1, clear effective, taxing to parking, good day. Traffic flight is Vesper flight of two inbound for runway 29, 17 miles out, straight in approach. Uh, was that for Vesper flight? Vesper flight of two, straight in approach, uh, 15 miles out for runway 29. Copy that. Uh, Alright, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll make some S turns here to give you guys some room. Shutting down. H3 uh, traffic, Boomer 7 one is 3 miles out for final on the yeah, way to 9. Two shutting down. Uh, one shutting down, CMT brief. Electra 5 1 should have plenty of separation with Vesper flight now. Um, Vesper flight is going to do an overhead. Um, we're going to hang out at around 5,000. Then we're going to do an overhead for 2 9. Roger that.
Traffic Boomer 71 departing runway to Park. H3 Traffic, Electra 51. Slow, long, final, runway 29, full stop. Roger that Vesper. It looks like the timing didn't work out. I'm going to go around. Runway's all yours.
H3 traffic, Electra 51, turn in base, runway 29, full stop, have the F 16s in sight. H3 traffic, Electra 51, straight to the numbers. Man, you Air Force guys gotta fly a smaller pattern. H3 traffic, Boomer flight is parked and departing frequencies. H3 traffic, Electra 51 exiting runway 29. Taxi to parking.
Man, that is a flat, featureless desert at night. Holy cow. H3 traffic, Electra 5-1's going offline, seeing the Oak Club. H3 traffic, on a top 4-1, offline, hitting the Oak Club. For sure. I mean, uh, I th all of the all of the ATC and uh, AWACS folks like didn't didn't show up. Yeah. Um, so basically, it looks like the first people who kind of got on station were Vesper here. At least they're the first ones who got shot at by um, Sam. It looks like well, we basically kind of got yeah. we kind of got we kind of got vectored straight in, and but without. Uh, I mean, I was just, uh, yeah. I was just lost in the. I, I, I was just completely task saturated at that point because I'm trying yeah. to plug in, you know, plug in coordinates, identify where the SAMs are at, and it doesn't. Have, I don't get shot down for a little while, but I was, yeah. I was just lost at that point. I was completely task saturated once we started getting. There. I didn't realize we had gotten that far north and we're over the freaking airfield. Yep. So like, yeah. Biggest, biggest magic words out there while flying airplanes. Unable. Can't do it. Sorry. I need some more extra time. That's a totally valid thing to say, right? So if you're like, you're stuck, like you're trying to orbit and you're trying to plug in coordinates and things like that, and you're just behind the jet and you're task saturated, and then HTC or GCI vectors you to go somewhere, just say, unable, can't do it. Sorry, man. Um, and, you know, Call me back in five mics or something like that, right? Yeah, I, I think if we'd have flown to Waypoint to put her in an orbit, got things situated, were able to identify the the location of the of the airfield, yeah, and then could orientate ours. If I if I had more time to orientate myself, I probably could have done a little bit better. But nah, I was just yeah, I was I was just completely behind the entire situation. Yep, and that happens, but it's a good lesson, right? Um, yep. Just next time that happens, unable. Sorry, guys, can't do it. You know, easy, easy fix for that. Um, and then just get yourself situated and then you'll be good to go. Um, so I kind of know how the other one played out. It was a lot of just craziness, right? Like nobody knew where anything was. And oh, whoa, there yeah, we that's, go. <laughs> that's what happened. I was, I was trying to find that fam site. Were you oh, trying to? I found it. I was trying to use. I was. I was trying to use the the harm and TOO mode as a poor man's HTS. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, to get a targeting pot at least close to where it was and then come back in. And I did no idea I was that close to the damn thing. Yeah. Did you have um, harm override turned off? Uh, uh, no, I did not. And honestly, I probably could have just self protect shot that thing I off. Think, yeah. I think if you're on TOO mode, it takes, it prioritizes that over the override. Can't. Yeah. I think override oh, so only works uh, if you're like not in a harm mode. Yeah. yeah, the override only works for whatever mode you have the harm selected in. So you can't be using the harm in TOO and have self protect self protect pulled up as well. It it yeah. doesn't work like that. Wow, you can have it in right. self protect and be using a different weapon, but if but you have yeah. the harm in TOO, it's on gonna a, be a safe okay. Wait, can we yeah. watch? Can we watch Wallace's Tomcat here? Because we shot three missiles at this MiG-25 and no one knows, me or Wallace, we don't know which one actually hit. <laughs> that is um, out of parameters. But don't, don't you have in harness? I appreciate you. That was like there. 40 miles. Yeah, but like, they were the new Mark 60s. Thank you for saving Thank my you. life, Bumblefox. It almost made it. Good. I, 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 close. Okay. your life yeah. by soaking so, up that missile that was meant for you. Yeah, so it's... Uh, <laughs> Oh, did he fire a missile into the ground? That's interesting. I've never seen the AI do that before. So he dodged that guy, I'm and then mad. he fires that into the ground, and then you get him with the second one. Yeah, you and that's a, I mean, Wallace, uh, uh, Wallace kills him again. So. And then, nice. yep. <laughs> and then, so what happened to the second MiG? So let's see. So the second MiG twenty five is looks like he's going after Vesper here. So that's not good. Yeah, it was um, cheap for me. What the heck? No, I think, just I think the there was a point at which I warned Vesper. I was like, listen, that fox bat's getting pretty close. You probably want to turn south here, Chief. How did many missiles did he pulled? Disappear. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. It's this, uh, the M54 here. Yep. yep. So, boom. Got him. Okay. <laughs> I have to ask, who That's reloaded so the weird. M54As? <laughs> Cyclops? Uh, Cyclops does not know about the update. I guess not. Um, you definitely want Cs now. That's for sure. Um... But uh, so that once those MiGs were dead, then that made the MiG 29s spawn over here. It's so funny the way freaking TAC view messes up the names of the units. But anyway, it doesn't matter. These are two MiG 29s, and they're coming in. And I almost got shot down by one of these MiGs, and I saw one get splashed like right next to me, and then I saw the other one get splashed right next to me. So we'll see what happens here. I can just skip this part. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, I got him. That was me. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. Because I was I was all air to ground mode. Then somebody was like, hey, Spud, uh, so you know, there's a MiG-29 like 10 miles from you. And I was like, well, that's not good. So I just flipped it over to air to air, got a lock really quickly, fired a, a AMRAM, and I was like, you know what, that's super close, I don't need to support it. So I just broke hard and went totally defensive, and I guess I got him. Just so, like in Desert Storm, right? Like that meme of that guy like shooting the other guy on the couch, it's like, who could have done this? <laughs> what? No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I haven't heard of that one. You'll have I'll, to show I'll, it to me. I'll have to Photoshop a meme. <laughs> so and then this mig so we here can we can I'm, I'm sorry uh -oh. Sprud, I, really, I really should have uh, given you a merged call at the very least but yeah that's Oof. yeah that's tough that's like no escape zone central there so that's a bummer Spud out of curiosity what um, what ACM mode did you use to lock up that 29 I didn't. I used. Uh, I was in Twiz mode, and uh, oh, wow. so I I threw it over to Twiz mode because I selected the AMRAM first, and I raised the elevation of my radar really quickly because I on data link I could see his altitude. So I wasn't sure how far away he was, and I figured that this would be faster than ACM modes if he's kind of far away. So then I, I locked him up, fired, and then broke immediately. And uh, I thought I made a ninety degree turn. But I was like so lost in the dark in the flat desert that I actually made a hundred and eighty degree turn. So that's yep. interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I, forget, I forget exactly yep. how far whack mode acquires out to. I think it's twenty miles. But uh Yeah, I have mixed Light results with whack mode? though. Um whack is like just five nautical miles. Five or ten. I don't yeah. twenty. I don't know. Sure. 
when the F-15E comes out, the super search on that goes out to 40, which is... That's why? 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 Who makes an ACM mode that goes out to 40 nautical miles? <laughs> um, the Eagle is put the just that in. good. So, Bowling. Just this Bowling guy... Things. So this guy accidentally, or well, not accidentally, but on purpose, shoots down Sprud here. Yeah. And yeah, that was bummer. Sprud was just left out on the clothesline. <laughs> He's like, oh, piece of candy. Um, <laughs> and then, uh-oh. Oh, Luca. Luca avoided it. So I think Luca just got saved because he was so low, the missile just ran out of energy. He also, he just, he also was, dumped the bucket. Nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> so I nice job, Luca. I as well. Yeah. And then the uh, MIG is like, okay, gone with the fuel tank. Time for a dogfight. No, and then the someone... Uh, yeah, okay. Charlie. Yep, from the Tau. Okay. So this is interesting. Like, just to show, like, how weird your SA can get, like, when you can't see outside the airplane. When Tau... I thought that Tau killed... So, yeah, so I didn't realize that I shot down that first MIG. So I thought Tau shot down this MiG first, and then the MiG that was after me got shot down second. So that, that was interesting. That's like That's totally backwards. different. Totally well, different I from the way I thought it so played probably out. Probably because so. your, your ref reference is also 90 degrees off. You you yeah. That turn. yeah, that's probably true. And I was pretty low. Wow, I'm glad there wasn't any AAA down there. <laughs> um, so fair, that guy got taken out. really fucked me out because... Uh... The, my lead was much closer to you to help you, so I thought the party would yeah. be over before I get there, but apparently I was right in time to save the Harrier. But if yeah. you go to kill shot at 1649, you can see him SA-5 very, very, barely, very nearly miss. Oh, really? At 1645? Yeah. It should... 49. It's at 1549, but I'm an hour off on my tack for some reason, so... Oh, do you know what it is in terms of, like... Uh... Like runtime in the mission. So he's of about time? to get. He's oh, about like to get 49. shot. Go to forty nine. Yeah. Oh, forty nine. Yeah, okay. yeah. That, that SA three. Yeah. That SA three was the most dangerous Sam in the mission, in my opinion, because it it kept coming online, then going offline, then coming online, then going and offline. We find it, and, Yeah, yeah. We was, found it. Uh, a Vesper flight. We found it and took it out. Eventually, uh -oh. found no, it. No. Scott, Scott found it as well. Yeah, Scott. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I was I was able to blow up that SA three in the end. I did the poor man's oh. uh, HDS thing trick. Ah, gotcha. Let me see if I can pull up my recording. And so it was kill shot at. I'm sorry. What was the timestamp again? With the SA five. Uh, I think he meant SA three. I think he meant SA three. Oh, yeah. I thought it, I, a, I. That's so the way that DCS naming convention for missiles works is. Kind of weird. Wow. They used the Russian designation, so that's a five V twenty seven, which is an SA three gotcha. go uh, missile. Yeah. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. I thought I you meant one of these SA fives back here took a pot shot at no, him as no. well. I don't, I don't think they one. shot at anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So coming through here, okay. so somebody eventually gets this SA three. Yeah. Me. Yeah, but he no, got there. I wanted to know. Yeah, I got eyes on. I got can we, eyes can we on look at uh, that JSAL right there? Because I I dropped it and it didn't seem to work at all. Like, it didn't arm was it? Bad. Was it? Uh, yeah. That's a bull that went ballistic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might have been out of parameters on it or something. Mm, like not probably. usually, but it said was it was it, in range though. Was it fully aligned? Fully aligned in range. Um, everything was good. I dropped so, it while I, I could still see the target paper on my HUD. You're, yeah. Maybe that was too low is the only thing I can think of. You're not sure in range. You're, you're probably too close also. You might be in yeah. arm range. And that's the thing with the JSAs. Honestly, the, they're, they're designed for us to be... We, we should have been standing away. off from, like, from, from waypoint 2 and throwing them. Yeah. yeah. Yep. For this type of mission, the I circle back and drop more. it again, and I get it this time. For, for at least these parameters, the JDAM would have worked a lot better. Yeah. If, yeah. If we were, if we, if we figured sure. we were gonna, if we, if we figured we were gonna be in, in that close among them, uh, but things kind of went. I, I, I was anticipating a more range, you know, more range shots from further south as opposed to, yeah, uh, waltzing right in there with our pants down. For sure. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so many don't people you, are flying over that SA3. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. Don't, don't F18's got the circles on the SA page of the SAMs? 
Yeah, yeah we, we see do. Yeah. They do, but you kind of have to know where they are. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, but you have a circle. Yeah, we but see again, the circle, but we can't queue on those uh, targets. Yeah, well, but you know you where can. not to go. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. ideally, I mean, well, again, right. ideally, if What's you can that? have a moment to look at the SA page, um, because also, you're in the middle of trying to plug in coordinates. <laughs> also, yeah. you absolutely can queue onto the circles on the SA page by using the targeting pod symbology on the SA page. Uh, I guess you can swing the targeting pod. To yeah. where that you can yeah. the the, yeah. to where that is, yeah. It's not yeah. the most precise thing in the world, but it can work. It can it at least especially get you in the ballpark, it especially is, if there's a launch, and then you is, can follow the trail. It is absolutely good enough for a TOO harm or a yep. PB so harm. You see this? I, I went defensive, yeah, like absolutely. The, the rest frost flights, like just went right over the sam, and I was like the last guy into it, and it targeted me anyway. It's it's the uh, it's um. What's it called? Doing its thing. Uh, it's Skynet doing its thing, right? Launching on the one it thinks it can kill, rather than the one that. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, one, one other note that I have about the harm here is that these are not exactly. Gr this isn't a great environment for the PB harm because yeah. it's very susceptible to being decoyed by a SAM that's like thirty degrees off in either direction. Right. Yeah. Um. I, I was hoping that if we had a full-on Red Crown GCI from the mission beginning, that we would have been staying in those orbits that I had set up and then mm -hmm. launching, you know, from launching JSALs from those orbits, basically. Yeah, yeah being and, directed from, yeah, being directed to engage, like, at, by, on a flight-by-flight -flight basis as opposed to just waltzing in. Yeah. Um, but uh, it looks like we took out at least yeah. some of the SAM. So I this out, SAM, this I managed SAM to take out an SA three with the J with my last JSAL. Nice. Okay, at SA eleven, at Thanks this area, it's done. The SA three here is pretty much done. Yeah, um, the SA six here. Oh no, that's an SA eleven. That out. And then no, we got an SA six here. Somebody got the radar on that SA six. So I mean, the, no. the Sams are pretty well farmed. That's for yeah, sure. I, I wish the Hornets could share mark points with the Pipers, with like like they can. Yeah, Holy yeah, crap, that'd, that'd be, be nice. cool. That would have been very cool for sure. Um, hey, Spud, but, one. Kill yeah. I'm just happy I found that for you, buddy. Yeah, Spud, thanks. When do we get A tens in a mission again? Do, uh, it. do it. I'll do it. I'll have to do it soon. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm definitely a coward. That, that makes me a coward. Um, <laughs> right, we all know why you won't no, do it, it after the Apache mission. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, uh, it's hard to time things. Like like with helicopters, it's hard to time things because they're so much slower. But yeah. I guess I could put them at forward airfields. But they also will carry so much ordnance, they'll just mow down everything in the map. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know what we're supposed to know what eight chance are for. Yeah, that's pretty much true. I mean they oh. can carry so much ordnance, but on in in reality they don't generally carry that massive load of ordnance though. Here, Scott, I have an idea. Put the A-10s in the mission, load it to the brim at forward operating bases, but only have two of them and cover the map in Shilkas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I don't know, like, like, so these F-16s here, man, flew, like, the world's largest pattern I've ever seen. It was kind of hilarious. I was, like, trying to get the timing right. Oh. I saw you coming in, and then I just okay. extended, I extended my downwind when I seen you were off to my, off to my right there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why we communicate on the CTAF. You should have, next time that happens, just say, hey, hey, Spud, I've got eyes on you. Just go ahead and land. And that way I can know, because I ended up like being like, I sucked up the gear and went around like thinking, oh, okay, well, they're, they're, they're just flying a big pattern, you know? So then, uh, then I came way the heck out there, which is not a big deal. I'm just saying, I was like, dude, these Air Force guys got to tighten up their patterns, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, didn't wanna, I was going to tell you, as soon as I got visual of you, I was just like, well, I might as well stand now because I was like, I don't want to turn in front of them. Yeah. One criticism for, everybody is you guys weren't communicating enough on the CPAF. when an airport is non-controlled there is no such thing as over communicating you gotta communicate 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 just to make sure that nobody 
it runs into each other or nobody is going to come nose to nose on a taxiway and, and can't turn around or that uh, a lot of folks were taking off, but they were not making a call before. So I was seeing jets going down the runway and I was like, well, what if somebody's back taxiing on that runway or crossing the runway while taxiing? Things like that. Got to communicate, communicate, communicate more, 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 more on that CTAF. Um, if you were on uh, CTAF when... If you were on CTAF on the Tomcats were landing, uh, we actually did a great job with the communication. We got a Harrier down with 200 pounds of fuel left. Uh, and I nice. that out every 10 miles. I was like, I'm, I'm on fucking short final, guys. I was, <laughs> having, I, was having people, <laughs> I was having people speed up, go around, you know, everything. It was, yeah. it was great. We managed to get those birds down. It was pretty fucking good. That's perfect. Yeah. So you can't, you can't, over communicate on a CTAF, that's for sure. I think we I mean, had a bit of an issue though with uh, people stepping on each other. So I think some of the takeoff calls got stepped on, and gotcha. I don't know if that contributed. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also guys remember you know it's harder with uh, with is there a way with SRS to have um, to have oh never mind I, I guess it already does it but so with with just like if you're talking on the radio on a real airplane, just make sure, like, think about what you're going to say before you say it, so that way you don't accidentally step on somebody, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm, of course, guilty of it as well, so I'm not I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying, like, just to make things better. It's push to talk, not push to think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, uh, well I could said. have controlled H3, but I was feeling lazy. So. <laughs> I was, so I was so tempted to jump in and control H three, and I looked at that gaggle coming, and I'm like, nope, I am <laughs> not up to that. <laughs> I'll, I'll let these guys work it out for themselves. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, narratively, we're saying there's so many scud impacts that it's cutting power and whatnot to pe- different uh, airfields. They <laughs> they managed to target the tower and kill all the controllers. With scud. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Gotta go wipe out those scuds, drop some.